be making basics. What's good, YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now, today's video, I'm going to actually be covering how to make hip hop hi hat patterns in Logic Pro 10 2023 edition. Okay, so this is going to be one of the first hi hat tutorials of 2023. So let's go ahead and buck our seatbelts. We got something nice prepared for you. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and play this beat. All right, it has a bass, kick, a snare, and then also this loop that we've been using here. And I'm gonna be showing you a process to go ahead and chop up some hi hats and open hi hat patterns, and you know, pretty much draw them in in Logic Pro 10. So let's check out the beat. So that's the beat. That's what we got going on here. Um, really want to keep a hi hat pattern simple with high, uh, when it comes to hip hop beats. All right, like if this is trap, you know we'd be doing a whole lot of crazy, you know what I mean, hi hat rolls and stuff like that. But with it being hip hop, you want to really keep it simple. Um, so what I would do is we'll go start with creating a new track. We'll go software instrument and then under uh, software instrument and then under instrument. We're gonna to want to uh, click on Quick Sampler. You know what I'm saying? Once you click on Quick Sampler, we'll just go over here to our Apple Loops. All right. You can start off by clicking on Beat Tape or any of these you can use, but Beat Tape is gonna have some dope sounds in in Logic. Um, this first option right here you can use to go to all drums. You can also go to hip hop. And then you could pick between any of these like hi hats or patterns. So let's just see here. Uh, if we even type in hi, all of our hi hats are gonna pull right up. So we don't have to even search through everything. All right. And so the key is this: to um, listen to the beat as a reference, and then like listen to the hi hats, and just see if you feel like those hi hats would work. Not necessarily the pattern because we're gonna create our own, but the type of hi-hats. So I like that first uh, hi-hat, and what I'll do is I'll take this and drag this on into the quick sampler. And I'm gonna click right here and turn off the loop, so no loop. Then I can just come to the end of this uh, pattern and just drag this on over. And what that's going to do is pretty much allow us just to get this individual hi-hat right here. Okay. And so once you grab this first hi-hat, now I can just go in here and draw it in or play it in. So like if you have a MIDI keyboard, you can use your MIDI keyboard to play the note. You can use, use musical typing, which is if you push Command K, you know what I mean? You can use that. Or you can come over here to the scissors, make sure you're on the piano roll, make sure you're on that track. And I can come over here and hold down Command and draw in some notes. So what we'll do is we'll start there. And you can literally just every other one right here um, just zoom in to the point where you can kind of see these little notches if you look over here between one and two there should be 16 notches it's going to represent the 16th notes within this measure and if you just break that down you'll see okay so this would be fourth notes or quarter notes if you put one right here at one over three or one three that's a half a note so it just got to break everything down here. What I'm doing is just starting off with the uh, quarter notes. Let's see. 
So something simple like that, and then we can always, you know, add more. So what I'll do is now that I have a super simple pattern, I'm just gonna click on it like so, and push Command R a couple of times until it's all the way locked in. Push Command J to join it. So the second part though, I like to double time this and basically I'm just gonna speed this up by highlighting this and then dragging it over one. That way it's gonna make multiple hi-hats. Um, so we'll take this and take it from it hitting every quarter note to every eighth. So let's hold down option. And now let's listen to it. So now that we have a basic hi-hat pattern here, what we can do is now make this a little bit better just by adding an open hi-hat as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this process. New software instrument track, quick sampler, okay? And then we're gonna need to grab an open hi-hat. So that's actually perfect. I can now take this and drag it in. And what I'm gonna do is this bigger wave file right here that we see, that's the one we're gonna grab because that's the open hi-hat. So I'm gonna click here, turn this loop off, and just zoom this on in like so. Or chop this up. Take that like that. So we got that now. So let's go ahead and lay this down. What I like to do too is sometimes instead of like drawing it in, I'll just watch this playhead. All right. So I'll have the, uh, close this, but I have the uh, piano roll open and then I'll just watch this playhead and it will kind of show me visually where I should be, you know, doing my um, open hi-hat. Just wherever I hear it. So I, I remember I heard, uh, I think it towards the end of these measures. So towards the end of three, probably like right here, I heard it right there, like right there. But you kind of have to listen to the music and then watch it and then you'll know, okay, this is where I want to put it. So let's just, let's just check it out. So you saw how I played it right there. It felt pretty good. So technically you don't even have to play it with the musical typing or with your MIDI keyboard. We can continue to draw this in. We'll just go ahead and hold down um, option and we'll just click one right here. All right, and really since this is already put together, I could literally just copy and paste it by pushing Command R four or three times and then join it by pushing Command J. Now let's listen to our hi-hat pattern. Pretty much that's that's a, a golden hi-hat pattern, but there's also some things we could do to elevate this pattern as well. One thing is to go ahead and put some like hi-hat rolls in there, but use hip hop hi-hat um, drum sounds. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna repeat the process, software instrument, under instrument, quick sampler, create. And I'm gonna come back over here 
to my loops. And we'll just keep on going down the list here and see if we find another hi-hat sound that's not as aggressive as the first one. Something we can kind of put in the background and you know create a, a role. Now I can actually can grab the same sample that I used before to grab this uh, open. And there's like this uh, softer hat. If you look, zoom in here, see how you're looking at the wave file, you see some like stronger patterns right here. You see the super strong one, which is the open. These are the stronger like high hats. This is smaller one is a like one we can use for a roll real quick. So I'll just go here, that, bingo, all of that. Zoom in. I just hold down Option as I'm um, scrolling left or right on my uh, key trackpad or mouse, and we got our another hi hat. So yeah, again, I don't want this to be too loud in the mix. So we'll just go ahead again. We can look at this uh, snare row or not snare row, but playhead, and I can see kind of visually where I want to put this in the timeline. So what I'm gonna do is put it right here. So we'll come over here. Not quite what I was looking for. Um, that's that's the dope too. So what I'll do is actually before I get rid of that, I'm gonna put this right here and then so because I, I want to keep that. But um this first one I wanted to speed up a whole lot more. So just highlight it, drag it in some like this, and then hold down option. There we go. And we can actually uh, do this one more time. We can always switch some of this stuff up if you want, but pretty much this is just some tips on how to make some dope um, hip hop hat patterns in Logic Pro 10 2023 version, y'all. Listen, um, if you liked this tutorial, make sure you smash that like button. It definitely helps out the channel. Also, if you want more videos like this, we literally have hundreds on YouTube that you can go to. So you're gonna wanna make sure you go ahead and subscribe and turn on those post notifications, all right? Reason why, you'll know when we're gonna post, okay? We try to post daily, but sometimes we might have to take a day off or something, but so for the most part, you wanna have those post notifications on so you know when we're gonna post. Also, if you want some exclusive content, make sure you head over to our site, beatmakingbasics.com. Over there, we have courses you can download, you know what I mean? You don't have to have an internet connection to log in to anything or whatever after you download the courses from the site. All of the uh, you know kits that we also offer, uh, whether it be drum kits or melody kits, are royalty free. So that means you can use them in your beats without having to worry about paying me another royalty or some type of other fee. All right. Make sure you grab on the uh, jump on this stuff, y'all. We do have a lot of great um, opportunities for you to learn on the site. I do also have a one-on-one -on -one service. What this is going to do is give you um, the opportunity to meet with me one-on-one. -on -one. And what that's going to do is while we're doing tutorials and going over these type of uh, 
you know, topics here. Um, we'll be doing it live. You'll be able to see my screen. I can see yours if we need to. And you can stop me as I'm going um, and explaining things and ask questions along the way. Best thing of all, after we do the recording, I'm actually going to save it and record it, uh, record the session and then send it to you. OK, you'll have your own individual folder that you can access at any point in time to download um, the one on one classes that you do with me. So for a limited time, y'all make sure you go and click on uh, the website and get either a course, a bundle or, um, you know, a course, a kit or book a one on one with me. OK, the one on ones, you know, what I'm saying as things start picking up. I might not be able to do it as much so you might want to go ahead and jump on now while we still can okay appreciate y'all i will see you in the next video and we're out